Welcome to day number two of Advent of Code. Today's challenge is rock, paper, scissors. I'm sure you guys all know the rules. Rock makes pretty quick work out of paper. Paper dulls out scissors, and scissors is sharpened by rock. Or at least that's what I thought for my first submit. I'll show you that in just a second. For those of you who don't know, Advent of Code is a 25-day long programming challenge that happens the first 25 days of December up until Christmas. Every day, you're first given an easy challenge, and if you can solve that, you earn one star and also unlock the harder challenge. The first 100 people to solve either the easy challenge or the hard challenge, or both challenges, get some points on a long-lasting leaderboard, which we hope to secure a spot on eventually, although we haven't yet earned any points. Hopefully when the challenges get a bit harder and it's less of a type racer contest, we'll stand a better shot at that. But we'll see. Uh, this is me first reading the problem from today's challenge and my solution. Good morning, welcome. We got five seconds here. We got uh, we got everything already. Let's see the problem. Uh, the elves have come back. Rock paper scissors. Okay. Um. So this means in the first round, rock. You should choose paper. If you score eight. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Okay. We have an encrypted strategy guide. Your puzzle input. The first column is what your opponent is going to play. A for rock, B or C. The second column, suddenly the elf is called away. Okay. The second column, you reason, must be you should play in response. X for rock, Y for paper, Z for scissors. So if you get one for rock, one, two, or three, plus the outcome, zero, three, or six. So in this, what's your total score if everything goes according to plan? All right. So let's start with this. Um, we will paste this in our input. Okay. Then we... Just need to go through each line, evaluate it, and then get the score. All right. So while FS dot has next, we'll say um, string O equals FS dot next. Me equals FS dot next. All right. And then what is your difference? Okay, so this first one you get, yeah, so it's just the sum of u, okay? So ants plus equals me dot caret zero minus uh, x, um, I guess plus one, because you get one for one for x. So this gives you that. Then we need to see whether we won or not. So um, int m diff equals or it was m equals me dot caret zero minus x. Uh, and then we'll say o equals o dot caret zero minus a. Okay. So if m equals o, then ants plus equals three. Else, if m equals o plus 1 mod 3 then so if i am the next one rock paper paper beats rock so if i'm rock he's paper then i get zero Plus equal six. All right, let's run this. Can we just do this? It's not the right answer. Um. Okay. So my only problem here was that I just had the order backwards. I was like writing my code in such a way that paper loses to rock rather than paper beats rock. I know I made the joke in the beginning about misunderstanding the order, but really I understood the order perfectly well. I just mixed up myself and the opponent, which is a pretty silly mistake. 
Do I have this backwards? Okay, maybe this is worth just trying. Okay, part two says, anyway, okay, he comes back, he says, X means you need to lose, Y means you need to draw, Z means you need to win. I see, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So, Um, all right, cool, cool. So yeah, what do we play? So we'll still, we'll still do this thing. Um, yeah, so if me equals X, Is it win? X is loss. Okay. Then draw. So ants plus equals three. And then this ants plus equals six. Um, yeah. Okay. And then we also need to get something else. So, all right. So then ants plus equals. Oh, oh, I guess we'll say here ants plus plus because everything's one based. Okay. Now we need like his thing plus one. All right. So this is ants plus equals. Oh, um, ants plus equals o o minus one, I think, or plus one. So we lose. So he did rock. We need. Is it rock paper scissors? Yeah. Rock, paper. So if you did paper, we need rock. Yes. This plus three modulo three. And then this one would need to be this plus one. Nice, 561. I don't remember exactly what I did or what I was for the first half. Uh, probably probably not great. I think I did the second half better than the first. All right, let's talk solutions. What do you say? So for the first part, the easier part, I mean, honestly, they're both about the same difficulty. They're just two different problems. But for the easier one, part one, you get one score for just what you choose, the, the rock, paper, scissors decision you make. Um, rock gives you one point, paper gives you two, scissors gives you three. So this is pretty easy. X is one, um, Y is two, and Z is three. And the way we can do this is we can just look at the ASCII values. Since ASCII is sequential, um, X comes first, I mean A comes first, and then Z comes last. And uh, we can just subtract these two. We can subtract the ASCII values just like as if they were numbers. And then we want to add one. This gives you zero, one, or two. And then you add one to that, you get one, two, or three. And that's the score you get for making that decision. And then if you have both of these, both you, like your score, M for me, O, O, because I already used O, I guess. Uh, these are the, the two values, and they're both like zero, one, or two. So they're in the same alphabet, basically, of choices. 
Then, if they're the same, that means it's a tie. Otherwise, since it's circular, rock uh, loses to paper. Paper loses to scissors. Scissors loses to rock. If we are the thing that comes after them, that means they lose to us. So then we win. And this is a little bit cleaner than evaluating every single possible case. Maybe it's not, though. Maybe this took me longer. Initially, I got this plus one wrong. I had minus one. So, yeah, I guess I, it may have been faster just to do all different, all nine different combinations. Who knows? Um, and then, yeah, last option is just if we lose, then we get zero bonus points for that. So that's just part one. Part two is pretty similar. The difference is instead of being given what you played, you're given, which is a bit more intuitive, I think, you're given the result of the game. And then you have to figure out what you would play in order to get that result. So X is a loss, Y is a draw, Z is a win. They go from worst to best for you. I handled each of these separately. You might be able to do something a little bit better, but oh well, this is what I did. Um, if you lose, you don't get any bonus points for the game result. If you draw, you get three for the game result. And then if you win, you get six. So those are pretty straightforward. Additionally, you get uh, the points for what you chose to play. This is a bit harder to evaluate, but I think I, I came up with a, a fairly succinct way of doing it. We can just ignore the loss. Or we can't ignore the loss, actually. we that's It's pretty important. Let's talk about the draw first, though. So if we play the same thing as our opponent, we know what our opponent played in 0, 1, or 2 alphabet, which we talked about earlier. That's just whatever the opponent's choice was minus A, because there's is A, B, and C. So we subtract that. C minus A will be 2. So we have this 2. We want to add 1 to it, first of all, because if we play A, that gives us 1 point. But for us, it's 0, so we, we add the 1 point here, and that save some typing on these three lines here for a draw we get the same number of points as our opponent so we get this for a loss that means we chose the thing that was before the opponent if we lost so if it was paper we chose rock if the opponent chose paper we chose rock so we get one less but this is a trick that i do since it's a cycle uh i do this this modulo three trick and i did this for for part one too i guess i didn't explain it really this means that um, if you do something modulo three, it'll wrap around after three. So th this lets us like not have to special case what comes before zero. And then you print the answer. All right. That's all the rock, paper, scissors for today. Hope you enjoy the challenge tomorrow and I will see you on the leaderboard then. Hope you have a great advent and an even better weekend. Goodbye.